doing thanks for joining me welcome back today I'm doing a tag video it is for the Mab group middle-aged beauties group that I'm in it's a get to know me tag so if you guys would like to hear more about me and get to know me um, then keep on watching All right, I wanted to tell you guys before we get into um, getting to know me uh, for the MAB Club, getting to know me kind of a thing, I figured I'd go ahead and let you also know about, about, about? Oh gosh, already starting. But I wanted to let you guys know about a um, new giveaway with the MAB group. Keeping it simple with Bridget already had her giveaway and it ended on the 19th. She had a winner and for some reason I keep trying to think of what Selena's last name is and I can't. I'm so sorry Selena because she is Selena, the, the girl that won. She is very supportive of all of us and just very she she comments on almost every video so yeah i was pretty super excited to find out selena had won i wish i could think of selena's last name i'm so sorry honey i can't remember for right now my I'm having one of them brain fart moments, but she, she's been a wonderful subscriber. So I was like super excited to hear that she won Bridget's. So now we have a new giveaway and it is with Pink Gloss 66. Her name is Jeannie and I'm going to put the link to the actual giveaway announcement from her below as well as everybody's links in the MAB group. Her giveaway is actually for the Anastasia uh, Renaissance palette, which I so want to get. Now, none of us in the MAB group are allowed to go into the giveaway, which obviously, I mean, that wouldn't be fair, would it, right? No, no, it would not. But I want that palette. So that's like on my list, my long list. And she's going to have that. But as well, she's going to have a $50 gift card to either Ulta or Sephora of your choice. Um, so she has both of those together in the whole thing. I think that's a pretty awesome, awesome giveaway. Now the rules are you do have to be subscribed to every single one of us in the MAB group. And the other thing is, is just comment on her video, the, uh, giveaway video, her actual giveaway video, comment on her video. And, um, you know, make sure you listen to the rules and everything, but comment on her video that, you know, you want to be entered and everything. I believe this is going on till October 3rd, which that's the other new thing is instead of it being every month we're doing a giveaway now, we're doing it every two weeks, I believe is how it is. So basically two giveaways in a month, which makes it more exciting. I'm not sure where mine is. I'll have to see where mine comes up because I want to do my giveaway for my 1K, which I'm past due in doing that. And then I also have that. So, but I'm going to work with it. So far I have a couple giveaways at some point coming up here. So anyway, I thought I'd let you guys know that before you went to the video of you got to know me for the Mount Club. So let's go on to getting to know me. Okay, the group MAB is, as I said, Middle Age Beauties. That's what it stands for. And it's a group of us who, 35 and older, had decided to come together and, you know, kind of support each other, kind of put ourselves out there and everything. Because um, it is it is difficult a lot of times um, as we get older when we're trying to apply our makeup or learn some tips. You know, the younger girls, they're so, you know, their, their skin's much more different than ours. So um, we have a little more challenges, I guess is what I want to say. Angel, uh, Glamour Gossip with Angel, she kind of had put the group together and everything. Let's go into some of the questions. What is your name? Lori. What is your age? Oh, really? 
Am I going to answer that? Okay. Um, I don't care. Um, cause anymore now, I don't even feel like my age, um, or anything like that, but I'm 49 actually. Where, where do you live? Um, of course I'm not going to tell you exactly where I live at, but I do live in Pennsylvania, um, outside of Pittsburgh. What is your marital status? Well, I am married. I have been married now for eight years. I had, this, uh, this is my second marriage. My first marriage um, wasn't a very good marriage. Most of y'all know I left a pretty bad abusive relationship. And um, so I do have two kids from the previous marriage. And then, yeah, I got married again later on. I met my uh, husband that I'm with now uh, pretty much online and he was from England and it just was all from there so yeah we've been together for eight years uh, do you have children I guess yeah I guess I answered that a little bit there yes I have two children from my previous marriage uh, a daughter and a son um, and I also have a grandbaby now my daughter had her first child a couple years ago um, so yes, I have two kids. Uh, my son's in college right now. He's also in the military and my daughter's pretty much a cook at a restaurant here, like a head cook. She does a little bit of everything. She's like a, she's a little busy girl there. And, um, her boyfriend, um, also they, they just, they live together and everything in an apartment with their little baby girl, which my little peanut, as I call her, Sophie, love her to bits, love them all to bits. I always call it, say, um, I love you to the moon and back. That's one of my favorite things to say. Do you have pets? Yes, I do. We have one cat now, Simon, who is Maine Coon, maybe Maine Coon Mix. Um, he's a long haired domestic cat. If you guys seen him in one of my previous videos, not too long ago, I did a collab with uh, Amy Miranda in um, Marlene uh, Fabiglam over 50 and I had him in the very beginning of the video a little bit because a lot of people always ask me about him and um, we did have two we had one named Winston who was a Siamese we've had quite a few Siamese cats um, I do love the Siamese breed and both were rescued at an animal shelter. Winston, the Siamese cat, was about nine or ten when we got him. So a lot of people didn't want to, you know, take him home because he was an older cat. And that's a that's that's so sad. I mean, I would adopt an older pet because they they need love too, and they're just they're just as great as the younger one. And them two got along so great. I couldn't, I mean, you know, they had their moments, of course, chasing each other and whatever, but I do miss seeing them chase each other now. Um, Simon's missing his buddy. He's, he took it pretty hard. I'm still trying to deal with him, with his emotions, with it all, but he's come a long way and is doing much better than what he did at first. What is my favorite type of music? Oh my goodness. I think all of us, I've heard everybody saying this, so, but I'm all over the board pretty much. I love me all kinds of music. Um, the only kind I don't really fully get into is country. I mean, there's a few maybe out there that are not bad, but I'm not um, a country person. Like I'm not into the country music too much. Um, I am definitely more... I am definitely more of the, let's put it this way, I like Disturbed, I like um, Motley Crue, I like Def Leppard, I like Breaking Benjamin, um, but I also have enjoyed Madonna, um, and then a lot of my favorite music now, I have to say, my, my big time music that I'm getting into now is totally like techno trance kind of stuff. I love, love DJ Tiesto. I have a huge collection of CDs. He is my favorite DJ of all. I have Paul Oakenfold. I have um, Paul Van Dyke, I think is his name. Um, DJ Marco. Um, Oh, there's just, there's tons of them out there. I, I get into a lot of that kind of music. I really enjoy that kind of music. I've always been the person that, um, loved to go out to 
dance or you know anything like that so yeah I really really been getting into a lot of that kind of music if you notice the music I put on my videos is kind of in that kind of frame a little bit sometimes so yes that is kind of my kind of my likes for the music okay what is my favorite season my favorite season of all would have to be spring spring would be the first one I love spring I love the flowers I love that scent of the fresh air that you can tell the nice weather's coming I love summer I am a spring summer gal right now we're getting into fall and I'm the person that gets that depressed feeling like uh, really you know no I'm the only thing I like about fall is seeing the leaves change color pumpkin and apple stuff things like that that's about really it after that when the leaves fall everything looks so ugly to me because it's like there's no green you know no green grass no green anything so it's just sad I get sad then um I do enjoy the holidays of course like I do love my Christmas I do love my Thanksgiving and everything who was your teenage crush oh my gosh who was my teenage crush hmm Okay, well, we're talking teenage here, so. I would probably have to say, I would have to say Joe Elliott from Def Leppard. He was my biggest, I had every poster of Def Leppard, every poster of De Joe Elliott everywhere on my wall I mean my wall when I was a teenager you couldn't even see the wall that's how covered it was with posters I had different people different groups but my biggest crush would have been Joe Elliott um amongst Joe Elliott probably for movie stars or anything like that would have been Tom, Tom Cruise um Patrick Swayze Rob Lowe all the guys from the 80s um Matt Dillon Matt Dillon yeah those a lot of those guys were my big teenage crushes right there so what was your first concert this is so easy for me to remember my first concert was Loverboy and the Hooters and I went with my sister and my friend my best friend Rosalie we went there all together so it was my first concert and it was I'm trying to think of the name of the album I think it was from the uh was it from the everybody works I don't know if it's from that album I can see the album I just can't think of the name of it right now that one was my first concert and what a concert it was we were kind of up in as we called it peanut heaven we were up in the balconies but it was still fine my sister had binoculars so yeah we could see my green on it that was my first concert so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video and hope you got to know a few things more about me i might have answered questions like this before in some previous videos i can't remember some of them did seem kind of ones i might have answered before but i wanted to do it for my uh, mab beauties as well so i wanted to let them see this video so thank you so much guys for watching i really appreciate it if you liked this video give it a thumbs up that would help me out so much also if you are not subscribed to my channel i'd love to have you, you can come and join me each week and as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you guys take care. I will see you then. Love you. Bye.